around the world, like the S-300 long-range anti-aircraft systems that Slovakia recently transferred to Ukraine. We are getting them in there. We won't always be able to advertise everything we, uh, that our partners are doing to support Ukraine and fight for freedom, but to modernize Teddy Roosevelt's famous advice, sometimes it will speak softly and carry a large javelin, because we're sending a lot of those in as well. Teddy Roosevelt's famous advice, sometimes it will speak softly and carry a large javelin, because we're sending a lot of those in as well. And you know, but we're not we're not sitting on the funding that Congress has provided for Ukraine. We're sending it directly to the front lines of freedom. All right, Shalom. This is Har One by Yasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. When I say Ka Halayim, La Yahawa, by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Harakar Kodash, my mouth, the Balana to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, Nakwati, my children, that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Yeah, what you heard there was uh, this guy, Sleepy Joe, announcing his $800 million uh, security assistance package that he's sending to Ukraine, um, to those Edomites over there. Now, still, mind you, in the background, they got a couple, um, what you would call Africans, some of them might be Jake's as well, that those Ukrainians are not helping over there. All right, they're leaving them stranded. And you haven't heard anything on the news about it recently or, in the, you know, in the media. Uh, last thing we heard was <clears throat> those um, Nazi-minded Ukrainians are not allowing um, in Poland's, Polish people, the Edomites of Poland, they're not allowing dark-skinned people into Poland for safety. All right, in other places. But still in all, you got Biden sending $800 million to help that country when they want to help their own country. You know, you got uh, poverty and uh, high levels of homelessness in this country. All right, so they won't, they won't help with that. They won't give Jake reparations. <laughs> Uh, what Tupac said, they got money for war but can't feed the poor. All right? And when they do their little, um, what do they call it? Uh, the damn loan they gave out, PPP loan. Right? When they did the PPP loan, uh, they only gave people a thousand something dollars, fifteen hundred, you know, a little cheap petty cash. But now he could send over eight hundred million dollars to help them, you know, which is going to cause um, America's economy to fall even more. All right, basically paying to destroy America's economy in the war. All right, America's economy. So now they're basically basically initiating a full a full on proxy war. Uh, through Ukraine against Russia, all right, from America, supplying them with missiles, anti-aircraft missiles, uh, um, these new missiles that he just said, the, the javelins. But it was something that caught my attention, just the way he was talking. You know, it, it shows the um, the devilish um ways of these damn Edomites, especially Biden, as he reads from his teleprompter. You know, as he reads, making it sound like it's his it's his um his own words. <laughs> like put like a puppet. But they're moving into the next phase of what they call uh, this war. And basically at some point it's gonna be a full on hot war between Russia and America, according to prophecy. All right, and there's nothing that anybody can do to stop it because it's the will of the Most High, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. All right, this is Psalm 64 and 5. They encourage themselves in an evil matter, and that's what they're doing, man. They're encouraging themselves, saying, hey, now it's time to move into that next phase of their new world order. 
all right, of the war and the um, the fall of this place, uh, America, Babylon. All right, so they're encouraging themselves in an evil matter. You know, and the puppet Biden, he's the front face for the the Illuminati. And it sounds like the tem teleprompter that he reading, it sounds like Obama speaking. And you know damn well Biden couldn't write that message that's on that teleprompter. How fast he talking. You know? They encourage themselves in an the evil matter. That's why they're sending over eight hundred million. Even though Russia said, hey, anybody that supplies Ukraine, they're basically fighting. They're basically part of the war. All right. So, yeah, be looking for a formal announcement at some point from Russia before they bring out the nukes. What, what going, that's the next phase. It's going to be in, uh, uh, dropping nukes. They just announced today that they took some um, some country, some part of the country from Ukraine. And it was a success. And at some point, they're going to move towards nuclear operations. And they're going to announce a full, um, full on war, war, or war against America for, for supplying Ukraine. <laughs> so they're encouraging themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privately, so privately, right? Um, privy right they they say who shall see them and that's what they're saying they don't think nobody can see what they're doing all right that word privily comes from the hebrew word uh tam taman or tamana or taman it means to hide to conceal bury to hide hide hiding concealing uh secretly laying participle darkness man to hide, man, and that's what Esau does. They they meet in secret, and they come out with these plans. You know, go against Russia so they can bring um, the demise of America and blame it on Russia. Instead of instead of these American citizens, they go, instead of them blaming it on the American government, they're gonna blame it on Russia. All right, when the economy falls. So what it says, and they, they're what they commune of laying snares privily. They say, "Who shall see them?" Man, they search out iniquities. They search out um, <laughs> evil, all right, injustice, unrighteousness, wrong, violent deeds of injustice. What's that? War, man, killing, sending missiles over there, and all kind of mess. You know, all kind of technology to get this, uh, um, causing more death and destruction. All to gain and keep a power seat in this order that they're setting up. But ultimately, America's going to fall, right? Babylon. It says, what? They search out iniquities, they accomplish a diligent search. All right, both the inward thought of every one of them. The heart is deep, you know. So, uh, so it says what they basically they they have been consumed with their their thorough uh, search that they've done. They're obsessed with their idea of a new world order. But Yahweh shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. Whew. This is the Revelations 13 and 11. And I beheld an, another beast, basically a wild, a wild, untamed uh, country of people coming up out of the earth, a right, wild beast, just like NATO, just like the Roman Empire, okay, a kingdom. And he had two horns like a lamb. That's we have Democrats and Republicans. That's their high points or their, um, you know, what, what you would call their leaders dealing with the the Senate, you know, the Democrats or Republicans. That's the split that they're using against each other. And to play a uh, sleight of hand, 
to the American citizens. And he, and two horns like a lamb. All right, so it's acting, showing up acting innocent, or like some God fearing country. But really, it's it's the hammer of the earth, and the scepter of the wicked, the staff of the wicked. And he spake as a dragon. See, they're pushing these draconian uh, policies and, and setting up wars and such, man, in the spirit of of Satan, the adversary. All right, the Roman Empire, EU. Because those elites over there in Europe that run, a, run this place, Babylon, they don't care who's in office. You know, they control what's on that teleprompter, what the president's saying. So he's saying, uh, um, I don't know if it was Roosevelt or Truman that he recited his quote. He quoted, I mean, but he said, uh, we're going to speak softly and carry a heavy javelin because that's what we're sending. It's like, he's talking about sending javelin missiles, man. And that's what they've been using. It was like anti-tank missiles that people can carry on their shoulder. So they're gonna get those to the to the to the people that are rebels, when basically Ukraine belongs to Russia, right? It's a Russian country. In Soviet Union, Ukraine was part of Russia. All right. So Psalm fifty-five, twenty-one. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. See that? That's that. We're gonna speak softly. But war. Is in his heart, man. You see that? But war, they got a whole war planned out in their mind. And it's mapped out and they're moving towards that. Provocative war, provoking Russia, poking the bear, that's what they call it. And uh, they have something going down around May 9th with Russia. So they, they, they have to move fast to get this. Um, America needs a war. All right. Babylon needs a war because if they don't, the leaders in this place are going to become a target in the midst of an economy collapse. All right, they're going to be to blame. So the words, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war is in his heart, and his words were softer than oil. See that he said we're going to speak softly, <laughs> but we're going to carry a heavy javelin. The Lord is talking about these Edomites, man, these heathens. Okay, especially over here in Babylon, America. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords, man. Not about to bring them out. They're already drawn. The war is already on. They're already at war with Russia. They're just doing it through the Ukrainians. Okay? So, with that, I'm going to end it there, man. Say shalom.